Hi guys, welcome to my new video and as you know, this video is about the recently concluded Cricket World Cup. Huh. We lost the World Cup in the final and this has been a heartbreaking loss. Out of all the losses that we have faced in the last 9 finals and semi-finals. Starting from 2014. It started in 2014 because the last time we won was 2013 Champions Trophy and after that it has been a drought as if we don't deserve to win. But no, that's not the case. We have been playing well and just at the right point of time where we should win, we just lose that match. It started in 2014 World Cup, uh, T20 World Cup where we, are, we were in the final and Virat Kohli was smashing the ball all around and he, he even won the player of the tournament like he did yesterday but we lost in the final. There were a few what if moments. It was what if Yuvraj Singh didn't play that 11 run inning of 21 balls. But that's fine, that happens with everyone and we still have so many other tournaments ahead because that's the first ICC tournament we lost after 2011 World Cup, after winning 2011 World Cup, after winning 2013 Champions Trophy. So it can be let go because it was just the one that we lost in last three. Then comes the 2015 World Cup. We were playing well, we were undefeated and we lost in the semi-final. We lost badly. But even then we can, uh, we we're not that sad i know few of us were but i felt like yeah we just won the last world cup so it's fine that we can let go of this one let someone win right we just won 2011 we can try our next one so we just talked about it and it was finished and we had 2016 t20 world cup i felt that this one we are going to win why because it was being played in India last time India won the World Cup in India and that Bangladesh match where India was supposed to lose but they somehow managed to win by one run made me believe that this is India's trophy India is going to win this trophy but not to be in the semi-final there were again a what if moment like there were two no balls that dismissed Lendl Simon in the semi-final and both time he got his life and he made most of it he went on to score 80 plus run and india lost because of that even after scoring 190 plus run in the same final so that was another heartbreaking moment of t20 world cup then comes 2017 champions trophy right we were again undefeated we defeated the finalists in the league stages pakistan and we were ready to face pakistan in the final and what happened is same thing that has been happening in the two past icc tournaments we lost in the final again and there was this what if moments again there was this no ball that dismissed fakar zaman and he went on smashing century and that was the turning point where india lost in the final and now it started hurting because it has been three tournaments where we lost two final and one semi-final and next up it came the 2019 2019 world cup the most heartbreaking losses out of all past four defeat including this one it was a very good tournament for India. They just lost one match against the host England. Rohit Sarma was firing. He scored 500. Was having tournament of his life, form of his life. Virat Kohli was smashing 50s in every game. So it was. It felt like it's destined that India is going to win, uh, win that World Cup, but not to be. India faced New Zealand in the semi-final their arch nemesis in the world cup or in the icc event whom they cannot defeat and it happened in the semi-final they lost by narrow margin and there were this what if moments what if 
it hadn't rained what if that dhoni run out didn't happen right and also it's heartbreaking because the, it was the last time we saw mahendra singh dhoni in indian jersey then comes the 2021 t20 world cup the t20 world cup that where i think after a long time we didn't even qualify for the semi final and it was not that bad because not that sad i mean it was bad but it was not sad because we just exited in the group stage and there was no major heartbreak of not winning it because the very next year it was going to happen again but only talking point was we lost to pakistan after very long time in a world cup event or a world cup tournament but it was fine and that there's nothing big about this tournament because we didn't even qualify for the semi final and we were not sad because the very next year we we are going to have a world cup t20 world cup again in 2022 and in 2022 the stage was set we reached the semi final like every time we do it was semi final india was prepared to win the stage was there and can they go past the semi final of t20 world cup this time but like it was happening before india lost in the semi final by 10 wicket to the eventual champion england and the heartbreak continues the dream of winning world cup continues in all this uh, india also managed to lose two final of world test championship where they lost one against new zealand their arc icc event uh, nemesis new zealand and the second was against australia in the same year this year and then comes the big event the world cup 2023 and that was happening in india everyone was excited because the last time india won the world cup was at home and this time it is happening at home and we were very 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 sure that we are going to win and the tournament started in that fashion right we were at very difficult position in the very first game we were like three wickets in four runs like that of 2019 semi-final but Virat Kohli and Kiel Rahul played a magnificent inning and we went on to win and everyone was so happy because they were happy that that happened in the group stage and we even went on to win in such a pressure situation and they were happy that India can do it this time they went on to win game after game they defeated Pakistan, South Africa, their arc nemesis New Zealand in the ICC tournament for the very first time and the stage was there. Everybody was scared in the semi-final. They were facing New Zealand again in the semi-final. And the, the memory of 2019 World Cup semi-final was still fresh. And our memories are, were haunted by those run out those rain the only highlight was Jadeza's inning where we thought that we could win and comes the day we were facing New Zealand in the same final and boom we won that match there was very a uh, little bit of a moment where we felt like will we lose the match even after scoring some 390s in the same final but no this time it was India's day India is performing well playing well india won the match the highlight of the match virat kohli scoring his 50th century in one day international breaking such international first record in front of him in his home ground so it was highlight of the tournament you can say and with that it felt like okay this is the tournament india is going to win because everything was aligned the star was aligned Rohit Sarma, Virat Kohli, everyone is performing. Every time we had uh, this tournament, the middle order used to collapse. But this time we had a perfect middle order. We have the highest scoring middle order batsman that India had in a very, very long time. Uh, Shreya Sayar scoring in excess of 500 runs. KR Rahul performing very well. And that comes the final of the World Cup 2023 in Narendra Modi Stadium. The stage was there everyone believed people 
were purchasing the final ticket in lakhs of rupees thousands hundreds of thousands of rupees were spent in ticket just 3000 tickets was being sold in black people were not even thinking with a of uh, let go they will pay you any price for the ticket and the stadium was packed to see india leave the world cup after how much 12 years but it was not in india's destiny because australia in the final is very dangerous team they come back haunted with the memory of 2003 and they defeated india in very bad manner and india lost the world cup final again and that's the story whole india is sad they could not let go of the world cup that was being happening in india the team that was performing so well the medal ceremony everything people followed everyone and everywhere in every event of this world cup and it is so disheartening to see that india could not lift the world cup india which has been performing so well so well that everyone believed that it is india who is going to win but in the moment where it mattered india lost the match after winning 10 straight games so dream of winning world cup continues and we move on to the next one we are having t20 world cup next year so we will not stop dreaming we will not stop supporting and we will be there again if that's not we have champions trophy coming up next year we have world test championship coming up then after that so there are so many events to win there are so many tournaments to win and we will keep supporting because we bleed blue